Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at the Notorious Time Capsules. So I've gathered about uh, 10, 10 or 11 Time Capsules. Uh, basically, the, the only way I was able to gather this, this many Time Capsules this quickly is that I have a lot of characters. So I logged in with a character that hadn't defeated an enemy for uh, quite a while. Uh, so the, sort of the first enemy I would defeat with that character boom, I would get a time capsule. So I gathered 11 time capsules pretty quickly like that by logging in with a whole bunch of characters. Uh, so, and also I had saved up uh, some stabilizers, but I just purchased a pack of 20. So basically I had the 10 stabilizer left, but I, I'm, I'm going to open uh, at least 20 uh, other time capsules. So I, I thought I'd purchase a pack uh, just in case. So we're going to open our time capsules, but let's take a quick look first. So as you can see, the new time capsule is, go, is called the Notorious Time Capsule. It requires one stabilizer to unlock, obviously. Uh, the, the, some of the rare stuff you can get is the Chrome Material Collection, the Umbral Aura Collection, or the Crimson Kryptonian Aura. Uh, it's uh, some sort of aura that you can have just around the, the hands. Oh. And also, uh, you get the Visitor Gear, which is the Lex Luthor Gear from Earth 3. Uh, it's the golden gear that uh, they tried to show uh, during the live stream. Uh, you get the crime syndicate emblems. Uh, you get some crafting materials and more. More is probably things like uh, the colas or the repair bots and all, or all that good stuff. Uh, we'll see. So we have 11 time capsules to open. Let's get started. So we got a visitor gear capsule. Oh yeah, and also, uh, let's see. Some visitor modes, notorious uh, emblem, okay. Before I continue, let's take a quick look at how many quartz do I have? So I have 66 quartz. I just opened two time capsules. So I probably had uh, 46, so I gained uh, 20, 20 quarks. Uh, we're going to take a look at how many quarks we, we will have once we will be done uh, opening those time capsules. So let's continue. So we've got another emblem. And of course a whole bunch of exobits or exobytes. Uh, again, visitor gear. Notorious uh, Collectors and the modes, obviously. Notorious Collector Capsule. So three gear, two emblems, and two, uh, two co co collections. Another collection. Another collection. Uh, some gear, and that's the last one. And some gear again. So if we take a quick look at our quarks, uh, we have uh, 169 quarks, so we got about 120 uh, quarks from opening 11 time capsules. So we pretty much got 10 all the time, except that uh, one time. It's sad, but uh, it happens. Uh, what can you do? So let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at the emblems first. So we got the CSA emblem, or uh, roughly what they did is that let's say we we wouldn't want to have the CSA emblem, we could uh, we could uh, trade it for ten quarks instead. But we're going to go for the emblem. Oh, and the Ultraman emblem. Actually, I really wanted that, so uh, I'm not happy. So, so basically the emblems, I assume they work like all the other emblems. So they give us the emblem and some plan to craft the enhanced version of the emblem. So let's consume that. And let's do the same for the Ultraman emblem. And something that drives uh, some people crazy, you can get feats from getting those emblems. Personally, I don't, I don't care about that, but there, there are people who are 
uh, pretty much going crazy over that. So let's see, we have uh, five, uh, five uh, capsules for gear. Let's see what we get. So we got a pair of gloves. Oh, we got the chest piece, which is uh, seems to be the rare piece or one of the rare piece of the, the lot, seeing how it's golden and shiny. A pair of gloves again. Some shoulders. And the belt. Uh, not too bad. We only got the uh, one twice. So that's uh, that's good to know. And let's see, what collections will we get? At this point, it's kind of hard to know which collection would be worth the most. So we'll go for the one that's supposed to be the more rare, quote unquote. So we'll go for this one, the Endless Desire to Kill. Normally, I should probably look on the broker to see how much all these three are worth and go for the one that's worth the most. But let's go for this one instead. We're going to try to keep it simple for now. Same thing here. Let's go for the Meta's hit list. Meta's hit list twice. Uh, well, let's go for the Firestorm Matrix uh, Diagram. Uh, human DNA, Pittsburgh. No way to know which ones, uh, which one could be worth the most. So let's go for, for the, uh, well, let's go for the Pittsburgh city map. And sadly, uh, this is it for for those. I probably should have checked for the emblem uh, how much they were worth, but uh, that should be simple enough. Let's take a look at the Ultraman. Oh, I'm so sad now. Well, we'll have to go through all, I guess. Okay, that is strange. Oh, there it is. Uh, 12 million. Uh, that's a bit much. Some people are crazy. And let's look at the CSA emblem. Uh, it goes from 10 million to 5 million. So I suspect it will keep on going down uh, some more. And let's take a look at the Owl Man. Uh, 33 million uh, people are crazy and you can see it it's usually a, a big drop right away the 33 uh, down to 15 it will keep on uh, going down and let's take a quick take a quick look at some of the stuff I I have still so let's see the gloves are probably worth the least one one point five million point three the belt one million one yeah the chest, 30 million, and I'm not surprised. The shoulders, 3 million. And let's see about the collections. So let's try this one. Uh, 3 million. Uh, the broker is going crazy, so let's go out. Let's get back in. Sometimes when a broker goes crazy, just just exit the broker and come back. There's no uh, no real fix or workaround in that. So five million for this one. Uh, let's see this one. Twenty million. Those prices may seem uh, big right now, but it will drop uh, quite a bit uh, during the day. So roughly that gives you um, an idea of what you can get from the time capsules and also uh, how crazy people will be in asking for uh, for huge prices. Oh yeah, let's look at the modes. I mean, we can see already the vid visitor modes from uh, about 300,000 to 500,000. That's for each mode. So um, <clears throat> for those who may not know, usually the quote-unquote smart move would be to sell everything as much as we can early on and wait a week, two weeks, and then purchase those items uh, for much cheaper. I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's, so let's consume uh, everything we can. So let's consume this. 
So it's 12 uh, collections we need to gather, as you can see. I suspect it's going to be 12 collections for, for all the collections. Uh, that seems to be pretty much the, the pattern they've been following, at least for a while. So we got ourselves a new pair of shoulders. By default, I go for the, the controllers. And we got the plan to craft the enhanced version. Oh, this one is uh, no good. But it'll be good for the style. And let's see the gloves. And last but not least, the chest. Again, some people are probably thinking that I'm crazy to use it. I should probably have sold it for 30 million, but I uh, will. Whatever. And I still have a pair of gloves to sell if I really want to, so it's not a big deal. So let's take a quick look at some of the emblems we got and some of the pieces we got. For the emblem, we got Ultraman. Uh, let's put this yellow, or well, maybe red, not nah, yellow. It's not the best uh, chest piece to look at the emblem with, but uh, it'll do for now. I'll, pro I'll make a proper emblem uh, video at some point. And let's take a look at the CSA. Uh, not bad. And let's look at the gear. So we got the chest piece. Oh, we got the shoulders. So it should be the visitor. Holy crap, it's big shoulders. Uh, we got the belt. We got the chest. Uh, that could almost work uh, to recreate an Iron Man character. And we got the hands. Uh, not too bad. Uh, sadly, um, I don't think... I bought a whole bunch of uh, Batman Beyond uh, time capsules because I wanted the Batman Beyond gear for, um, uh, for at least a few of my characters. I don't see myself needing that gear for a lot of my characters, so I don't think I will buy that many time capsules this time around. I'll probably just buy enough to get the, the full set on this character. And uh, the emblems for this character and uh, maybe a character or two. Basically, um, I'm sadly I'm already planning on creating an Ultraman character and an Allman character. So, which is crazy because I've already have uh, too many characters. Uh, but what can you do? So I guess that's going to be it for the notorious time capsules. So the time capsules are going to be av available for starting today. Uh, they're going to be available. I assume for the next eight weeks. Usually time capsule lasts for about eight weeks. So expect the, those time capsules to last roughly eight weeks. So in eight weeks when they announce a new time capsule and they remove the, this time capsules, don't be surprised. I can already tell you it's going to happen. So prepare yourself uh, for that right now. And uh, sadly, if you, still, uh, if you still wanted to get some uh, Batman Beyond time capsule, or Gotham time capsule, I should say, uh, I'm pretty sure you can still purchase some uh, from the broker. But uh, starting today, it's going to be the Notorious time capsule, and you're going to be able to gather the Lex Luthor gear, a whole bunch of uh, Crime Syndicate emblems, and uh, a few material and uh, an emblem or uh, an aura or two. So that's uh, pretty much it for now, guys. So, as always, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.